Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Ophelia here and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, today I just wanted to play around in my journal. Um, I am starting on a page that was it kind of had color splashed around and I'm just starting by gluing down some random bits of papers. I just love finding old book text and um, old music sheets and such like that. Um, and all of the supplies that I'm using will be linked down below. I just start out with some matte medium, gluing down bits of pages um, just to give my background a little bit of substance. And then I'm gonna put on a thin layer of gesso. And you may notice that I kind of dunk my brush in that water or spritz that page because I want it to be a really thin um, layer so that I can still see the dictionary text or text that's on the page and I put in a sheet of um, old file folder so that I would not mess up what's behind and then I'm just grabbing some acrylic paints in my palette I'll link all of those down below and I'm just going to start putting color down on the background um, just to get everything covered Now that that is all dry, I grabbed some random um, stamps, and I've had these stamps for such a long time, so I will try to find them. The one there, the large script print, is a dark room door that I always use, um, but I will try to find this one for sure and um, link it down below just to give the page a bit of texture. Um, I've recently found my stamps again and um, I really do enjoy using those. And then I grab a stencil. This is from Donna Downey. Um, it's a circle stencil and it's pretty old so I'll try to find it as well. Grabbing more colors and I'm just going to use a makeup sponge to put some color or like random bits of color all over the page. Then I use some bubble wrap to add some texture again and use that almost as a stamp. Back with that same stencil just to fill in a bit more. And then I'm gonna let everything dry up again and go over everything just with a light wash of color to kind of knock everything back into the background. Once I get that all dried up, I grab my Jerry's Jumbo Jet Black Pencil, and I'm just going to draw a, a little design. Um, this part always makes me pretty nervous, but I'm just doing like a little flower, because next I'm going to come in and completely cover up my background, but use that flower design as, um, I guess, a stencil, and then paint everything around it. I'm kind of being careful to not go over that line, but I know that I can always um, come back once I'm all done and redraw the lines or make them a bit more um, pronounced so that it kind of stands out a bit more. I will get myself a few smaller brushes um, and just continue to work my way around with this blue and gray paint um, that I'm just gonna cover up the entire background that I started. I will also use some stencils as, um, I guess, a reverse stencil where I use that stencil and then a little bit of water on my rag there to just kind of take out some of that blue color. Now 
I will often spritz the rag with a bit of water to help me get color up that's been a bit dry. And I just work my way around the page, um, adding a bit more pink down um, just because I ran out of what I had already had mixed. Um, and I just continue to work my way around this image. If you find that there's a spot that you just don't like, um, you can just literally go right back over it and start over again. Once I get everything dried up, I will go back in with that Jerry's Jumbo Jet Black Pencil and just kind of deepen in the lines a bit so that now that background image of that weird flower thing that I drew kind of stands out a bit more. And now I'm going to go in with some black acrylic ink, and this is um, an FW ink by De La Rowney. And I'm going to grab a smaller brush and just do my um, regular handwriting here. Again, it always makes me so nervous when I'm almost done and then I try to grow, go in with a um, my writing and a brush, but I just used a smaller brush to do that writing and then I'm going to get an even smaller brush to continue writing with um, some of that black ink. Then I'm going to get some Liquitex, and I believe it's Pyro Red. Um, I hope I'm saying that right, but I've got some of that ink, and I'm just going to use it to um, color in that little bottom of my weird flower leaf situation, and um, just to kind of add a bit of color. And then I put a little bit more in just to add a few splatters. And then I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more of that red color. So I used the top of a spray bottle to just add a bit of circles or stamp some circles with it. And then that's it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.